Hey YouTube, how's it going? Harry once again with OC Appliance DIY. Um, today we're going to be talking about my um, homemade recovery pump. Um, I've used it on a couple occasions and I showed a video a couple days ago on how I use it with the General Electric um, freezer. And today um, I was noticing that I had a question, somebody had a qu posted a question on how we wire it uh, for it to work. So I just want to do a quick video on how it is wired. So basically, I had it sitting outside for a while, so it got kind of rusted, got wet. And, um, but I do have the caps on it to prevent moisture from getting inside. So basically, on the side of this, I have a run start capacitor. So all it is basically is going to be a cord from an old washer, dryer, refrigerator. Just an old cord. And, oh, it fell off. But basically your protector, your PTC, start, run start relay, um, has um, two little plugs. So I cut this one because these were smaller and I got two of these connectors, one for each side, one for each side, like this, and these wires from the connector can go either directly in here or in this case, like this, and here, this one fell off, but as an example have another one here so these cables do come with three because they do have a ground um, so obviously the one in the middle in this case is the green one this is ground you're not going to use it so you just use one on one side one on the other side plug it in and then you plug it into the side of the compressor and um, when you're ready to use it all you do plug it in and there you go um, but with this video I did want to show you something else that I'm gonna do so this is gonna make it a little bit easier um, that way you don't have to plug it in and unplug it all the time um, when you're working with this so stay tuned Alrighty, so I'm back. So basically, I went ahead and grabbed another one of these. Um, when you remove the start relay from your old refrigerator, cut it with the harness like this long enough. That way, in theory, you plug in one to one side and the other to the other side. And you can plug it in and it starts right up. What we're going to do today is go one step forward and I bought an on off toggle switch so I'm gonna put this right about here like this that way I can turn it on and off here and I can leave it plugged in when I'm working so let me drill the hole and show you what it looks like Alrighty, be back in a bit. Alrighty, so you got your two connectors, like I said, to your start relay. One is going to go directly to your um, cable. Right here. This. Use your wire knot. Okay. So I ended up doing the hole right here. And we got 
are two cables here. So the other one is gonna go to this one right here. I did my cables kind of long. Um, you can do it a little bit shorter, but I just want to make sure it's not going to hurt anything by it being extra long. So. Like this. And the other one's going to go right in here. You can use tape, obviously. I had these wire nuts, so I'm using the wire nuts. Now, the other end of this is going to go to the other side of your power cable. Like this. And this is going to go on your compressor. So this side, another wire nut. And now you can just plug it in. So when you need it on, turn it on. got to take the caps off. Basically it's going to look like this. Got your suction. Discharge. And on off switch. Went ahead and made another hole in here this way when i need the cable i pull it out when i don't i push it in and that is how i wired my homemade recovery pump hope this helps hope it answers any questions you may have if you have any more questions feel free to leave them below in the comment section and don't forget to like subscribe and share this um video with anybody who might need to make themselves their own recovery pump now this is no substitution for a commercially bought one but in a pinch you don't have one um they are expensive they run at about a thousand dollars eight hundred thousand dollars depending on what you buy and up so this way at least you have something um, that can help you and get you out of a bind when you're getting started um now with this pump as well you can also pull a vacuum into your refrigerator you can also use it as a vacuum pump it's not going to be as good as a commercially bought vacuum pump like the one i have and that i showed you the other day but once again in a pinch this will serve as a vacuum pump as well all right thank you hope you like this video and see you next time bye